it's been about nine days since she's molted, which I think this is like the earliest I would try feeding. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a feeding video, but before we get into that, I did want to mention that this video is sponsored by Micro Wilderness. I've worked with Micro Wilderness a lot over the past year and I've had nothing but great experiences. More importantly, I know that the people that I have directed towards him have also had great experiences and that's what matters to me. So I really like to hear that from you guys. That said, Micro Wilderness currently is doing a pre-import sale that he is expecting quite soon. I recommend you go check out his website and you can also use code CAT 10 to get 10% off of your order. Regardless of if you purchase today, tomorrow, next week, next month, CAT10 is always going to be a valid code that you can use to get 10% off your order. So if you're not ready to order today, you can another time. Although I do suggest you go check out his pre-import sale because I'm not really sure if all of that's going to be available for long. Anyway, so we're going to be feeding my tarantulas crickets today and I have noticed an uptick in comments asking me if crickets are a safe feeder. They're not my favorite feeder, but I do believe if you get them from a reliable source that crickets are a totally okay feeder and a varied diet. That said, I can make an entire video on my favorite feeders if that's something you're interested in. And I was even thinking about possibly doing a video where maybe we test to see what feeder my tarantulas like the most. I don't know. Let me know. But yeah, with all that said, let's go ahead and get started now. All right, so I think we should probably start off with my slings first. So we will start off with my Gramostola Bastion. We're going to do a decently sized cricket and see what happens. Oh, no, not interested. Okay, that's kind of strange and not what I would expect. I'll go ahead and mist around. We didn't molt too terribly long ago, so it definitely could just be that we're not ready to eat yet. I'll try again in a few days. So next we will do my Grandma Stola Iherringi, who is like currently looking pretty sketch. I don't know what we're planning. We'll do a pretty big one for this. What are we waiting for? The cricket's down there. I mean, she seems interested, I guess, but isn't doing anything. I mean, I guess I could uh, drop another. Oh, oh. <laughs> so definitely hungry. And I think that we will probably go get that one later. <laughs> All right, so we have another Grandma Stola. This is my Grandma Stola Grossa. Usually doesn't refuse food either, so hopefully we will get some sort of feeding response. Oh, gross, I accidentally dropped a dead one. Uh, uh no. This is why I don't like crickets. It's like my least favorite reason. <laughs> So yeah, pretty cool. All right, by request, I will be feeding Wednesday my velvet spider. I'm never sure what size cricket to give to her. Should I give her like a bigger one? Like I would a jumping spider her size or a smaller one? Oh, okay, good. She was interested. Oh. Yay! Cutest spider ever kills cricket just drags it down by the leg. Every time I feed her, she always drags them down by the leg. Yay, I'm so glad we got to see that. All right, so let's do another spider while we're here. This is one of my female jumping spiders and she's not the best eater ever, but I did want to try to feed her anyway. Oh, <laughs> that was a nice catch. That was awesome. Oh, I'm so happy we got that. Look at how happy she is. She's like a little puppy. I got a new light and I really think she looks exceptionally pretty under it. Like you can really see her colors. But yeah, there we go, awesome. Okay, so this is a spider that will pretty much always eat. And we actually got a molt out of it recently, but it's like super hidden all the way down here in the burrow. Let me see if I can get a better look for you. Not really, <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and feed it. And I know that it'll come out and eat, but this is my Xenthus Imenis. You want it? Oh, 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 oh. Do you guys see it? Oh, <laughs> not a great shot, but at least you saw that she took it. And yeah, this thing molted and definitely gained some size, which really makes me happy because as adults, these things look so cool. Yeah, I'll keep you guys updated, but I have a feeling another molt is imminent with these. Look how quick it is, it's so fast. Okay, this is somebody that we haven't seen in a while. It's my H. Pulchra peas. There it is. Let's go ahead and try to feed it something a little chunky because I think it needs some chunk. Oh, okay, 
Okay, cool. Look at those blue legs. I'm glad she was not shy today about eating because usually she kind of is. Okay, we'll move on to my S Rebrana 10s. Now this is one that I do intend on rehousing really soon. Let's try to get a decent shot today. Oh, I think the cricket got out. No, it's under a leaf, I see it. Ah! <laughs> the cricket did get out, it did just get out. No, oh my God, this cricket, it has a will to live. The cricket has escaped. We're gonna have to do another cricket. <laughs> you need to calm down. This is one of my feistiest tarantulas and it's just a little Costa Rican new world. All right, so we're moving on up. This is my P. Machala. And as you see, she just got a new enclosure. This I actually posted about on Instagram. It is from Tarantula Cribs and they actually gifted me a bunch of really nice enclosures. So I actually will probably be doing a video rehousing my tarantulas and a bunch of them. But I did rehouse my Panthabedius species Machala first because I was super excited and wanted to try it out ASAP. So she's right there and I'm gonna go ahead and drop in a pretty big cricket. Got a lot of crickets today. <laughs> Yay! Let's take this chance to really get a good look at her. Check out that carapace and you can see the purple in her legs. This new light is really helping me catch those really pretty purple colors. And yes, she is a confirmed female. This is a girl we've had on my channel for a very long time and she's just grown and changed so much and looks so beautiful. So check that out. Yeah, she's definitely spoiled, of course. She was the first one I had to upgrade. <laughs> All right, so now let's do somebody that we have not seen in a minute. Oh, check you out. Homeomo chiliensis, one of my two females. I'm not sure if she's gonna eat. She's not really one to eat a lot, but we can go ahead and try. Oh, okay. So I'm not surprised that she's not like jumping on it because she's just not that kind of tarantula. Water her a bit. And yeah, she'll probably eat later because she's just really shy. My other H. chiliensis is the same way where they just don't really eat until like later. <laughs> Actually, I think she is kind of getting a little close to pre-molt. If you see that darkening on her abdomen, mm, she's so pretty. I love when she comes out. There you go. I know a lot of you guys are looking for this species all the time and they're so difficult to find, but once you find one, oh my gosh, it's so worth it. I've gotten so distracted now. Put her back. Hopefully you'll eat for me today. All right, next we have a favorite, my S. Hoffmani. I don't know if she's gonna come out to say hello, but we will try. Got a really big cricket for her. Oh, she's already out. Okay, perfect. Just what we want to see. We'll drop it up here. Cricket's just gonna walk around for a little bit. She webbed up her little crystal over here. Looks pretty. We're headed in the right direction. <laughs> awesome. I'm glad we've been able to get her on camera a lot more lately just because we went so many months without her coming out at all when she was in pre-molt and molting. She even spent a couple months underground even after she molted. So to see her this much is such a treat. Now this is another tarantula we don't see a lot of. This is my male Toledo Cuddle Vegans. He's actually on the lid, so I'm gonna try to get him to like get off a little bit. There we go, okay. All right. Oh. We could probably give him two. Oh, I'm surprised he hasn't like tried to snatch it. Oh, <laughs> of course. We're doing the creep method where we just like creep super slow. Super slow. <laughs> that was a very gentle takedown. But yeah, he's super pretty. Shake, 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 Sinora. Shake your body liner. All right, cool. So let's move on to the next. Okay, so in this one, who do we have? Yes, this is Dumpster Tarantula. Everybody's favorite. And there he is looking so good. Give him a little bit of water. He's usually afraid of hornworms, so I think he's gonna appreciate that we're doing crickets today. <laughs> yeah, we can do two. Enjoying two crickets today in his mouth. 
I'm sure he would take as many crickets as he could fit. You know, I just have some tarantulas that love crickets and will just eat a ton of crickets. He just happens to be one of those tarantulas. All right, so moving on. Now we have my Brecky Pilma Hamori. This is not my Brecky Pilma Smithy, although I do have her coming up last. I'm not sure if she'll eat because she just molted like eight, nine days ago. But I figured we'd go ahead and see this beautiful girl and she's just grown so much. It's crazy for a little bit. That. We're gonna give her a big cricket. <laughs> she attacked the leaf instead. Oh, one. Still got one more in here. Two. Haha. <laughs> Moving on. So we have someone right here that actually just molted. This is my Vicularia Vicularia. And I know she's ready to eat, so I don't know if she'll take it right now, but we can certainly try. Oh, there she goes. Oh. No, we want you want it, right? Okay, she got it. <laughs> Another that I've had and grown out for like ever, so it's so great to see them grow and stuff. But yeah, check her out. <laughs> we have my E. Marianus female. So we're gonna offer her a couple crickets because she has quite an appetite. One. Two. We'll do another little small one. That'll be a snack for later. <laughs> no, 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 no. Make friends. But yeah, check her out. She molted not too long ago either. I've had a lot of molts lately, so I have no complaints. So gorgeous. Oh, wow. Just getting so big too. I just feel like she's super old and I every time I think that she's probably not gonna molt again, she molts again, so. And she's still got dance moves. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I love when she comes out. <laughs> All right, we have one more to try to feed today. Okay, so it might be a little too early. In fact, this is like the earliest I would try to feed a tarantula this size food after a molt. But this is my Brachypilma smithy and she has really hardened up pretty nice. She's looking super beautiful, bright orange. And yeah, just she's been doing really well. So I think I'm gonna try to feed her. And if she doesn't eat, that's fine because we will just try again. Oh, huh. she was ready. Well, since she is eating, I will go ahead and give her another. See if she wants two. I think she's good with the one. Yeah, we'll just do the one for now and I will offer her another in maybe a day or two for a little bit more water. And yeah, I'm so happy we got her to eat. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did want to really quickly thank my new Patreons. We have Dan, John, Dion, Wolfman, Chris, Mason, Hans, Tarantula Cribs, Kayla, April, Mackenzie, and Omnia. Thank you guys so much for your extra support. It means a lot. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, subscribe if you want. Oh, subscribe if you're not. Anyone? Don't forget I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Teespring podcast and a Patreon. It's all linked down below and I will see you guys soon. See ya.